given the historic popularity of passive investing, why would we use active managers to invest in property? That's a great question, Andrew. I think particularly in recent years, many investors have chosen to go the passive route. It's generally a lot cheaper than an active manager. I think the counter argument to that, however, is you know, I'm going to refer particularly to, to real estate because that's my area of expertise. The disadvantage of passive is that you know, in an environment we find ourselves in, and even pre-COVID, you just go and look over the last five, 10 years of any real estate, the divergence between the returns between different countries, between different sectors, and between different stocks has been absolutely enormous. I mean, we, we're literally talking maybe 50% between the winners and the losers, okay? That's an enormous uh, a range of, of potential returns. You know, it's going from positive to negative type of thing. Now, with an active manager such as ourselves, if you get to make those allocation decisions correctly, which is what we obviously endeavor to do, and you choose the right countries, you choose the right sectors and you choose the right stocks, you can generate a significant amount of alpha. Okay? Whereas if you're in a passive uh, ETF, all you do is you buy a basket of shares effectively, which is going to track the market. So coming back to what we spoke about earlier, you look at this environment where retail is struggling significantly. Okay? If you're in a passive fund, you're going to have exposure to retail. You can't avoid it. There's, there's no ability to say, we don't want to be exposed to retail now, let's not be there. You look in the short term, if a, if a big event happens, such as COVID, for example, passive managers are not able, to, or passive funds are not able to adapt to those rapid changing circumstances like active managers can. I'll give you a prime example. When COVID-19 first hit, business travel started to slow down, people stopped moving around, you know, within countries and across different countries. Within the real estate space, your, your hardest hit by this are, are the hotel stocks, okay? So if you think of it, Hotel rooms are effectively let out on a night-by-night -night basis. There are no long-term one-year, five-year leases there. So as soon as people stop traveling, you know, and stop staying in hotels, those hotels lose their income stream straight away. What we, what we are able to do in an active manager is to see that happening and basically just sell out of hotel stocks completely if we so desire. Whereas if you were in a passive investment, you would still hold the same allocation to those hotel stocks, even though you know that those hotel stocks are going to perform terribly over the next couple of months, there's nothing you can do about it because it's there. Ryan, thank you for joining us today and sharing your knowledge and experience and giving us some hope for the property sector. Thanks, Andrew. Thanks for having me on your show. Always great to chat. For more information on Catalyst Fund Managers, please check out our page at fundhub.coza.